Hey, what's good ladies and gentlemen? My name's Nezgog and I'll be your monster for the moment bringing you some hot Evolve content. First and foremost, welcome! This is the pilot episode of my series which I hope to bring to you, the viewer, daily. We'll have some ups, downs, humor, and strategy, so stay tuned for some future content. Now, I decided to go with the abilities I did as Goliath simply for the fact that I like to do some high damage output and Flame Breath allows me to do that. Leap Smash allows me to have some mobility as well as damage, and Rock Throw, if someone gets hit by a rock, they're going to feel it. Now for those of you who don't know, Goliath is the starting monster that you get simply for booting up the game, and is pretty much like the Super Smash Bros. Mario of this entire thing, this great game. His Flame Breath is a AoE cone attack, essentially, that you for lack of better words, channel. In other words, you can't do anything else while you're using it. And it, deal it has some pretty good high damage that it puts out. His rock throw is an ability where you kind of stand still rooting yourself and grab a boulder from underneath of you and throw it, and that deals a lot of damage, as well as knocking around an unfortunate hunter who would be on the receiving end. His charge attack, which I did not get, allows you to move forward and deal damage and carry the hunter with you. And his Leap Smash is an ability that moves you and deals damage at the end of your flight. So first thing, I decide to just take off. Try to get as far away from that starting point as possible and then attempt to sneak. So I put my footprints facing one way and I let, went the other. I'm now sniffing looking for some animals to eat, which as you uh, eat, you generate armor, and you also generate points for which to or for you to evolve with. So right there, I just ate one of the little grazers there, and people don't like to do this, but, you know, using your abilities to get some of the wildlife down just for some quick eats is okay right in my book, especially right now at this point in the game where the hunters are still kind of confused and looking for you. I tried to sneak attack there, failed, so, you know, that's good, and then killed that wildlife and some birds, which, if you startle, alert the hunters, so, again, pretty awesome. Now, right away, I go for this spider thing. I quite haven't learned all the, name of the names of the wildlife just yet, so bear with me. So, I'm attacking this spider thing, hoping to get all of the nutrients out of it so I can just get at that quick evolve to level 2, and I uh, managed to take it out with minimal damage to myself which is always good and I got a lot of dead animals in this area so if you continue to eat hold down that button as long as the corpses are near each other the monster will continuously eat from all the corpses now as you can see I just got my evolve up but look at that there are hunters behind me can't do that because you have about 10 seconds of time where you cannot move attack do anything and you lose all of the armor that you've uh, generated from eating wildlife so as you just saw, I boogied on out of there. Don't want to get caught in between four hunters at stage level one while you're evolving. That's a good recipe for disaster. And I've been tracked by UAV, so it doesn't really matter if I'm leaving tracks behind myself. I can just kind of move. Now, this was a dumb play here. I uh, decided to try and punch those animals and then not eat them for whatever reason. I think I was still pretty spooked by the fact that there were hunters directly behind me. Now that plus sign you see in the left hand corner is a perk that you can get by killing and eating wildlife and each perk does something different like 50% cooldowns or 35% damage and those those perks do impact the game quite a bit and hunters can get them as well so if you see them you might want to take them just out of principle. Now I'm looking for a safe place to evolve and I saw those birds and made a, a, a wide arc because I do not want those hunters to find me at all. And by sniffing, I saw that there was a bunch of wildlife here, so I could possibly regenerate as much armor as, po as, as I could. Now, I go ahead and I level up my Fire Breath, think about Rock Throw and Leap Smash, so I just max out my Fire Breath and level up that Rock Throw. Leap Smash isn't higher on the priority for me, because I mainly use it as mobility this early in the game, but... Yeah, so here's one of those perks coming into play. This Mammoth Bird is carrying the cooldown ability, which is pretty good, so now my abilities will come up even faster. And for those of you, again, who are not familiar with Evolve, but are familiar perhaps with League of Legends, Dota, or Smite, 
your abilities function pretty much like a MOBA champion would. Each of them are on a cooldown and go or come up and down as necessary prior to use whatever. So again, tracked by this annoying UAV, I start hunting and looking for food, trying to get my armor back up before I re-engage or anything like that. And these birds come down. And those birds, like startling regular birds, will alert the hunters of your position, but those ones come down on your kills if they haven't been if they haven't seen you in a while. And uh, there's there's Bucket hitting me with a couple rockets, you know, no big deal. Trying to uh, just up uh, and then Val. All right, Val just sniped me with a tranquilizer dart, making me a little, little sleepy, a little sluggish. Not so good there, but I'll get out just fine. Got some pretty decent armor going on. Remember those bird things I killed? Yeah, there we go. Quick snack. So maybe it wasn't so bad after all. And gonna get out of there before that grazer decides to really hurt me. And there's Bucket again, trying to eat. No? Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go then. All right. Trying to get some meals on the go here, just to get some points and armor back up so I can re-engage, but this, this bucket, man. Oh, man. This, this is pretty annoying. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Alright. Still hit me with rockets. I can't wait to, uh, to see if you're by yourself, because if you are, I'ma make you not so happy. Yeah, there you are. Just you. Okay. I see that the Markov, the assault for the hunters, put down a mine there, so it's probably not a good idea to run into it. Alright, using my flame breath. Probably not a good idea, but I just want this thing out of the way quickly so I can eat, get some more points for evolution. And it's still just you, huh? Alright, well... How about you taste on my rock? Yeah, how's that feel? Probably not so good, I'd imagine, as, you know, taking a boulder of that size would probably end anybody. And, uh, there we go, now you're down, so... Go away, please, thank you. Still shooting me, but it's whatever. I'm basically full on armor, and now I can just get out. Hopefully the other hunters will... not be so behind and be dis or not be so close, rather, sorry, and be distracted by the fact that Bucket was down, so... now they'll be forced to help him up and I have time to put distance between myself and everybody else. So again, using my fire breath here just, just to get this thing out of the way quickly and get a quick meal. This mammoth bird goes down as well. Poor thing was on fire, caught in the crosshairs. Oh well. And there's that one from earlier we got, so that's good. We'll eat that too. And I heard what I thought was a rocket. Don't know. Not gonna look behind me, just gonna keep moving forward. Hopefully, uh... Alright, there's some more... Some more food. It's always good. I'm quite hungry. And now we can evolve, so... Uh... Yeah, Sleepy Goliath, as you can hear that. Uh... There's a tree in the way. Good job, yep. Yeah. So, getting tranked slows you down, makes you not move as fast, makes it easier for the hunters to catch up. Oh, really? How about a, uh, a big berth of rock? No luck. Nope. Alright, well. Uh, loving the tranks here. Okay, there's Bucket. And there's Val. Alright, well, if it's just you, here we go, I guess. Two of you, no problem. Leaping fire attack. Always good. And your turn. Missed with the boulder. But fire's back up. Here we go. Now, you can't attack while your fire's up and spike the football. There we go. Time to get out. But uh, you can't use your f melee attack while you're using your flame breath. That is something that was actually in the alpha. I, I was also able to get my hands on the alpha and play that a little bit. They changed that, and that's actually a really good change because Goliath's damage at that point was just out of control. Now, you'll see I didn't put any points into charge, and that's really just preference. I would suggest to pick your abilities as per your playstyle. For me, I just like to deal lots and lots of damage, and having three max level abilities is a good way to do that. Leap Smash gives you a little... little. Uh, okay, get out of here, Bucket. I'm trying to talk. Go, go away. Alright. Alright, you're, you're just annoying me at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and eat and get my armor, and... Yeah. So... 
Yeah, the, the alpha was really fun. If if you hadn't played it, it, it's probably better getting you or not being able to play old Goliath and get used to the melee attacks during Flame Breath. Uh, you know, it's, it was annoying for me to try and get the hang of now. Yeah, you can see me there trying to melee. Couldn't figure it out this entire game. So now we're going to go for that power relay. Now the monster's objective is to either kill all of the hunters or go for the power relay. And you'll notice I didn't try to finish off Bucket there by himself because had I done that, that would have started the timer for the hunters to respawn and just make my life that much more difficult. Get, get out of my way. There we go. Okay. Big bully in the house here. Sorry about that little birdie thing, but I got a power relay to go smash up. All right. I'm going to climb this surface here, and going to try to get up there. I'm hearing bucket fire rockets at me from behind, but I'm not too... Oh, trappers, so here we go. This is the beginning of the end for you here. I hope you enjoy this. I got it for you on uh, clearance. Going down, and in the corner. Don't, if, if you're playing as a hunter, try your, your darnest to just try and stick together, because the monster has a very, very difficult time if you are as a group. I mean, that goes that goes for without saying, but you'll, you'll see here. So Markov, the assault, is just sitting there hitting with some lasers. Val is healing the trapper now, but I'm just going to do my thing here. I'm level 3, so I deal a lot of damage, and I have three max level abilities, and spiking the football. Always fun. So you'll see that Grognak there, a.k.a. Markov, goes down to a few hits, so that's good. Now we're gonna focus the the medic. Now I I'm really kind of sloppy playing here. I should have probably gone for the medic first, but whatever. So there are four roles, by the way. The hunters have the trapper, medic, the assault, and support. And each one plays a different role. So like the trapper is dead, and if she was alive, she could have hit me with harpoons and slowed me down and all those different things. Really, you want to focus down one person and get them to nothing before you move on to the next. And there you go. I'm, I'm tranked again. So good on the the medics part there, Val. Unfortunately, I'm going to uh, turn on her and get her out of the way with a rock to the face. Uh, that's it. Those boulders feel just really good when they connect, you know? If, if you haven't played Goliath, or you like to play Hunters, I suggest playing Goliath and landing a few of those boulders. Make your day a little bit better. Alright, so that was, I don't know what Val was thinking here, trying to sneak on up next to me. Yeah, there you go. That's for you. Okay, so now we got low health Hunters, which are just tasty treats for a level 3 monster. Come on, there we go, yep, boulder for you. Take some uh, some hits, some fire. It's, it's all for you, really, Marco. Come on, just just lay down, I promise it'll be quick. Uh, I missed there. And we got harpoon, so you'll see attack the harpoon cable appeared. If I don't, I'll pretty much get rooted to the one spot, even if I try to jump like that. This is pretty brutal. Burn, human, burn. Come on. Precision boulder, here we go. Bip. That uh, was pretty anticlimactic, but there you go. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching, folks. My name's Nesgog. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed what I've done here today. And, yeah. Have a nice day.